There was a, a, a bill that we just tackled this last week that was introduced um, I would add haphazardly. It came out on a Friday, and not usually the time you want to. <laughs> you want to. You're trying to highlight something, uh, or you know, it's usually the time you're trying to bury something. But it came out late in a Friday, um, along with a host of other bills, um, and it was one that basically forces segregation onto the city of Milwaukee in our schools. Right now, Milwaukee has the largest school district. We have seventy-seven thousand enrolled students. Um, my both of my kids go there. I'm a proud uh, uh, parent of uh, Milwaukee Public Schools or MPS for short. Um, but this bill, which frankly MPS, the Milwaukee schools have been under attack. All schools have. Um, they said, you know what? We are going to force the breakup in between four and eight pieces. And you know, maybe just in case your listeners aren't familiar, Milwaukee is actually the most segregated city in the entire country. Yeah, we say that about Chicago too, but I think they're very similar. Yeah, yeah. yep, it is. Yep, right. It, and yeah, it is. And it, maybe the distinction gets passed back and forth, but it is. You know, other other un, 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 unhappy distinct um, uh, distinctions as Milwaukee is viewed as the worst place in America to raise a black child. Yeah, um, the red the redlining. Yeah. Um, that happened decades ago has persisted, right? And so property property wealth has grown in white areas, but it hasn't grown, grown in predominantly black neighborhoods. So naturally, the, the new school districts they are offering up segregate the city on the same lines as old redlining. Right. They would force, mm-hmm. yeah, it would be forced division by geography.